Hello. Okay, today's class is going to be a total body conditioning class. So this class, you're going to need a mat and some free weights and a chair. Um, so the chair is going to be something that you can hold onto, something sturdy. Um, but also, if you want the option to use the chair almost like a bench, you can get something like it just needs to be sturdy and it needs to be comfortable enough to put your shoulders and your head on. Now, this is always optional. If you're like, I don't really have anything like that, that is totally fine. You can do everything on your mat. So just make sure you have your mat and your free, weight, free weights ready to go. And we're gonna get started in just a second. All right, here we go. We're gonna go and warm up. We're gonna get our muscles nice and warm. Set our watch if you got one. Big shoulder roll up, back and down. Inhale, deep breath. Exhale, release. Flat back down. Round it up. Roll the shoulders. You're gonna do that again. Inhale. Exhale. Roll it back. Flat back. Round it up. Roll the shoulders. Tap it out. Right, left. Here we go. Tap. Four more. Four. Three. Two. We're gonna add some arms. Go ahead. What do we do with those arms? Roll the shoulders. Four more. All right, a little bit bigger. Bend those elbows. Pull back. Four, three, two. Arms to the front. Thumbs down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Quarter lift of those arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hamstring curl. Pull up. Four more. Good, bob and weave, down and up. Seven, six, five. Transfer that weight to your heels. Excellent, hamstring curls again. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Quarter knee, right and left. Three, four, five, six, seven. Tap your heel to the front. Eight, seven, six, five. Good, opening up that hip as you bend that knee. Quarter knee again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now you're gonna press your heels forward. Two, three, four more. Bring it back up, heel tap, knee bend. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Shuffle out for me. Good, four more. Press it out, heel press, give me eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. You're gonna tap it right, left. Tap, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shuffle out, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You're gonna squat it out narrow, so feet are right underneath the hips. Three, four more, four, three, two, last one, tap it right, left again, give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, march it for eight, march here, eight, seven, or shuffle, four more, four, three, two, hands on hips, reverse lunge, eight, seven, Six, five, shoulders over hips, four, three, two, last one, narrow squat, give me eight, eight, seven, six, five, and four more, four, three, waving those heels, abs are tight, jumping jack or modified jack, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, march it out, or four, three, hands on the hips, reverse lunge, right, left, eight, seven, six, five, good, four, three, two more, last one, I want you to hold the right leg back, I want you to stay here, stay here, tuck that tailbone under, sink it down a little bit lower, in four, three, two, bring it over the head. Stretch it from the hip all the way up to the fingertips in four. Three, two, release it down. 
Other side, stay here, find that stretch. Take your time, four, three, two, overhead. Stretch it out, three, two, one. Release it, take those legs out wide again for me. Flat back, round it up. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Take another deep breath, inhale, feet together. Excellent job. All right, we're gonna go to our first exercise. We're gonna go into a bent knee deadlift. So I'm gonna grab my heavier weights. My feet are gonna be right underneath my hips. So I would say about six to eight inches apart. I am gonna bend my knees, but I'm gonna keep my back flat. So I'm gonna push my hips back, bend my knees, flat back, take it back here. I'm gonna move so you can see a little bit better because that fireplace kind of hides my back. So that's what I'm doing. Flat back, bend knee, deadlift. Here we go. Go ahead and start with me. One, abs tight. Two, neck is neutral with your spine. Three, four. You should feel those hamstrings engage. Also the tops of the quads a little bit. Excellent. Keep breathing. Awesome. Nice, flat back, hips back, bend knees, three, two, we change the angle a little bit, one more, excellent, we're going to go back to that same position and we're going to do a double row, you ready, push your hips back, hold, double row, one, two, pull those abs in, three, four, five, shoulder blades back and down, seven, eight, keep breathing, two more, Last one, bring it all the way up first. Excellent, bring those weights down safely. In four seconds, we're gonna start a jumping jack. You can modify if you want, two, one, right away. Nice. The goal here is just to keep our heart rate elevated. We're recovering a little bit through our legs and our arms. We're not adding any extra weight. We're increasing the speed. And keeping that heart rate up. Four, three, two, recover. Breathe. 15 seconds, that's it. Basically enough to take two deep breaths and you grab your weight. All right, grab your weight. Second round. Abs are tight. All right, ready? My feet, I'm just trying to get a good angle here. Heels underneath, hip, underneath the hips, push your hips back, and those knees. Weight your heels. Those abs are critical to keep, keep engaged. Notice how I turn my hands toward my body and I keep that weight super close to my legs. Keep breathing. Woo! So good for your butt, for your hamstrings. We have one more. You're gonna stand all the way up. Push those hips back, abs tight, double row. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lock those abs in. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All the way up. Good. The reason I have you come up is so that you can put those weights down slow and controlled without hurting your back. Three, two, one jumping jacks right away. Now hurry it up. Now we're we're not resting very long in between each exercise. But once we're done with our third set, I'm gonna give you a full minute to recover. Okay. So you might not get a lot of rest, but I'm giving you about 30 seconds more than I usually give you between sets. All right, keep going. Two, one, rest. Take a breath, 15 seconds. Woo. All right, five more seconds, we've grabbed our weights. Three, two, last round here. Let me get a minute. Draw those abs in. I'm gonna do this one facing you. Get your hips back, back flat. One, two. That weight is so super close to those legs. Woo. Nice. 
Now with a deadlift, you're not pushing your, you're not lowering your hips as much as you would for a squat, okay? So your hips are staying pretty high, the knees are bending, the back is lengthened. Let's do two more here. Last one. Beautiful. All right, you're gonna bring it down, abs engage. Here we go, pull it up. One, two, three, but I'm still working. Four, five, six. Neck is long, neck is neutral. Two more. Last one. Excellent, bring it all the way up. Oh, beautiful job. Last one, jumping jacks. Three, two, let's go. Right away. Good, you can modify as you need to. Keep moving. Three. Come on, get those steps in. Four, three, two, one. Get some water, recover one minute. You stop. All right. So for this next one, we're gonna go into we're gonna go into a Bulgarian lunge, holding onto your weight like a goblet. So that means hold here, right underneath the chin. Okay. One leg is back on an elevated surface. Just make sure it's sturdy. You're gonna lower and lift. We're gonna do 12 on each side. Okay. Now it's not gonna be fast. Then we're gonna come down to the floor or to a bench if you want. You're gonna come down, we're gonna grab both of your weights and we're gonna do a chest fly. I'll just do it without the weight. So over your chest, out wide, back in. If you were looking at it from the top, it'd be just like this, palms facing in, right? All right, and then after that we have a squat jump and it's gonna be a squat tap, okay? You can also do a side step tap. Those are your options. All right, we're gonna start in 10 seconds, so go ahead and grab your weight. First round is gonna come up. Grab your, that weight and place it underneath your chin. Right foot, take it back. Secure that left heel to the floor, lower and lift, here we go. One, two, that knee, that left knee is bending 90 degrees. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, whoo, ten, two more. Last one coming up. Get ready to switch. Three, two, one, other side. Nice. Smooth transition. Saving that time, right? Keep going. Press down to that front heel and pull those abs in. Nice and tight. Seven, eight, nine, one more is 10. Two more, you got your 12. Last one, here we go. Beautiful, grab your other weight or whatever weight you wanna do. Four, your chest slide. Okay, secure yourself on the floor. Bring those weights over your chest. Soft through the elbows, draw the navel towards the spine. Bring it up wide, take it in. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 more, last one, control it, beautiful, bring your elbows down, you're going to take it up. Go ahead and stand. We're going to start in three, two, one, squat tap. Let's go. Right away, get that heart rate up. When those legs come out wide, whether you're stepping out or jumping out, the weight shifts back toward the heel. Drop those hips low, keep that chest lifted, abs engaged. You got it. Keep it up. Last one here. Beautiful. Rest. 15 seconds, it's 
Well, yeah. We're going to get ready for our second round of Bulgarian lunges. Grab your weight. Here, underneath that chin. Try to come back. Left heel down. Lower left. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Woo. Nine. 10, 11, last one, switch sides, three, two, one, lower left, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two more, last one, Excellent. Grab your other weight. Or if you're changing weights, change the weights. Lay down, lower back supported on the floor. Over that chest. Here we go. 12, 11, 10. Breathe. 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, last one. Excellent, bring it down. Go ahead and come up. Move those weights out of your way. Start in three, two, one. Here we go, down and up. Drop. Push this down. You can speed it up. You can slow it down. But you need to keep moving. You can't stop moving. Go, go, go. Woo! Come on, I'm with you. I know. Those legs are starting to burn. Good. Let it burn. Three, two, one. Recover. One more round. Let me get that full minute. Awesome job. Grab your weight. Last one. Last one here. Secure that weight underneath that chin. All right. Bend it back. All right. Lower left. Good. What I love about these, this movement is so isolated, but it also makes you really use your core. But you got to balance. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whoo, eleven, last one, switch sides, three, two, one, lower left, excellent, front heel, driving down toward the floor, Make sure that knee stays right over the ankle the whole time. Doesn't dart forward over the knee. Stays behind the knee. Beautiful. Last one coming up. Grab your weights for your chest fly. Bring it down safely. Grab those weights. Bend those knees. Abs are engaged. Elbows soft. Palms facing in. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more. Last one. Whew, bring it down. All right. Take it up, last set cardio here. Your squat tap down. Three, two, one. Here we go. Take it down. Make shifts back. Keep going, keep going. 
fun. Get the heart rate up. Woo, each rep counts. Let's go. Last two. Excellent job. I want you to recover here. Take a minute. Get some water. Awesome job. Okay, this next one is a three part for the lower body. Okay, you're gonna reverse lunge. Actually, you're gonna squat first. So narrow, squat, reverse lunge, curtsy, don't fall like I did, and back up. Okay, we're gonna do this with weights. So it's gonna be down, back, curtsy, back up. So once you squat down, you stay there as you move that leg. We're gonna do 12 and then switch sides. Okay, upper body is going to be triceps. We're gonna get back to the floor. We're gonna do tri tricep skull pressure. So if you're on the floor, it looks like this, bending 90 degrees, you know, more than 90, keeping that elbow stacked. All right? Then we're going to turn it around. This is where you can do those mountain climbers on an elevated surface. We're gonna go into my mountain climbers. Then you're gonna stand back up and you're gonna get ready for your second set. All right, let's get started. Grab your weights. All right, three. We're gonna start right leg first. Two, one, squat down, step back, curtsy, come back to the center, and up. One, squat, curtsy, back, two, squat, step, curtsy, back, three. I know. Squat. <laughs> this is the worst. Feels so good. You got it. Woo! And up. Woo! Have that left side. Marina. We got it. Ha! Ah. This is nine. <laughs> 11, abs tight, that's one on this side, excellent, switch sides, squat, stay down, lunge, side, back, one, squat, lunge, curtsy, two, squat, lunge, Four, five. When you step back, your shoulders over your hips. Woo. Whoa, this one is tough. Such an isolated movement on that glute. Two more. Last one. Oh, excellent. All right. Woo, I got one me winded. All right, so we're gonna take it down. Get ready for skull pictures, we've got 12 of them. All right. Bend the knees. Abs are tight, stack that joint, bend the elbows. Here we go. 12, 11. Breathe. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Woo, bring it down. All right, take your time. Not too much time, but adequate amount of time to turn around, right? You want to do it in a safe manner. Hands underneath the shoulders or elbows underneath. You can do this on the elevated surface in three, two, one, take it in. Drive those knees to the chest. Keep those hands underneath the shoulders or the elbows. And pull those abs in tight. 
I'm going to challenge myself. Straight down for the hamstring and glute on the right side. 
last one. Beautiful, bring those weights down. In three, two, here we go, skater. Hop to the side, do the opposite like that. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Come on, three, two, one. Even if you have to modify, it's all good. One last round. One last round, we get a longer break, get that full minute, and then we have one more circuit. And we're done, okay? So grab those weights, but that weight. In three, two, one, take it down, Pull. This is where I have to start telling myself, you can do this. You're almost there. Don't quit. You've come so far already. Why would you stop now? Let's just finish it off. Six. Seven. Every rep gets you closer to being finished. And every rep is going to make you stronger as well. Last one. Get ready for the other side. Three, two, one. Four, five, six more, and then we go to our biceps. Four more. Four, three, two, last one. Beautiful, bring those weights down. Grab your weights for your biceps. Elbows in. Three, two, one, body half three. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it. Half half. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it all the way down, full range. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Ah! Take it down. Skaters. In three, two, one. Here we go. Take it down if you want. Come on. You got this, huh? Three, two, one, recover. You get a full minute, get some water. All right. Here's what we got. We're gonna do a goblet squat. So you're gonna go wide, wide here. We have 12 here, goblet squats. Then you're gonna grab your lightest weights that you got. We're gonna do external rotation, elbow lifts. Each one of those is one, so you're only doing six of each for a total of 12, okay? Then you're gonna come down to the floor, in a plank position, and we're holding. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, your shoulders are already going to be fatigued because we just did shoulders, and now we're stacking the shoulders. So if you need to modify the plank to take some of the pressure off the shoulders, that's fine. All right? Okay, so the last round, we're not gonna have very much time to stretch, so I just wanna put this out there right away. Make sure you take some time to stretch after. Grab your heavier weight. Last round, three sets. He's gonna go fast. Take it wide. Three, two, one, take it back. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. When you stand, make sure those abs are tight and the knees are soft. 
One more time. Beautiful. Bring the weight down. Grab your lightest weights. And maybe, I mean, you can definitely feel some. If you need like two, three, four, five pounds, go for it. If you want to go a little heavy, that's fine. Maybe the first set go lighter and then go up from there. Here we go. Bend 90. Extra rotation. Lift up. That's two. Extra rotation. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. One more each. Bring that weight down. Right away, elbows underneath the shoulders. Three, two, hold it. Keep breathing. Try to relax the shoulders a little bit. Get the shoulders down away from the ears. Keep those knees soft. Inner thighs are gently squeezing in toward each other. Not, a, not super tight so that your butt clenches, but enough so you can feel your engagement of your lower body. Keep breathing. You have 30 seconds to go. This is your longest one. The first one's the longest. 20 to go. 15. 10. Last five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Break down. So tips back. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Take it back up. Grab your heaviest weight. You just need one of them. Goblet. Legs wide. Toes corner. Push back. Here you go. 12. 11, 10, 9, those knees track right over those ankles, hips are open, keep breathing, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, excellent, bring it all the way up, grab your lighter weights. Elbows in, 90 degrees. Here we go. Out, in, up. That's two. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. And twelve. Excellent. Bring those weights down. Can you get back to your plank position? Starting three. Bring those weights down. All right. One more set of plank. Nice and 
is only 30 seconds. In three, two, one, hold it. You got it. Keep breathing. 20 seconds to go.